Good morning and welcome to News Watch Today. I'm Clara Butler. And I'm Garrett Koger. This week, updates from the trip to Vienna, Austria with the Comm Department. While well, flights are being canceled and Lewis Hall is celebrating with a fun hall event. Melina Diaz is here with your forecast. Nicholas Brownlee has your latest in sports news. This is News Watch Today. Thanks for joining us this morning. Right now we have our weather anchor Melina Diaz here to give us the first look at weather. But we finally get to experience a glimpse of winter heading into November. Melina, please take it away. Well folks, let's take a look at the weather. So honestly, we're seeing 50, 52 high and the wind is going 12 miles per hour with a humidity of 89%. And now for today, we're looking at a high of 61 and a chance of rain at 80%. And a wind is going 60 miles per hour with a low of 41. And now for on Friday, we're looking at a high of 65 and a low of 41 with a sunny but a chance of cloudy and uh, 12 miles per hour. Back to you guys. Thanks, huh? Melina. I guess we'll know a little bit more during your full forecast. Yeah, it sounds like we have a great weekend ahead. Today is a special day for Girl Scouts across the country. It's Founders Day, honoring Juliet Gordon Lowe, who was born on Halloween in 1860. Known as Daisy to her friends, Lowe started the Girl Scouts of the USA in 1912 after meeting Sir Robert Baden Powell, the founder of the World Scouting Movement. She held her first troop meeting in Savannah, Georgia, believing girls should have the opportunity to learn, lead, and make a difference. Lowe continued to grow the Girl Scouts until her passing in 1927, leaving behind a legacy of service and leadership. So this Halloween, Girl Scouts aren't just dressed up, they're celebrating the woman who started it all. More than 20,000 passengers in Argentina are facing flight delays and cancellations as union strikes protesting economic policies shake the country. According to the Argentina Airlines, 253 flights were affected, including domestic, regional, and international trips to destinations like Madrid and Miami. At Buenos Aires' Jorge Newberry Airport, flight activity was nearly at standstill this morning, with several airlines forced to relocate to Ezezia International. Passengers are advised to check for updates as some air airlines offer flexible rescheduling options. Students at Evangel University dressed up for one of the campus's most consistent Halloween events, El Buin, hosted by the girls on Lewis Hall's second floor. Each room has a unique theme, inviting students from all over campus to join in the Halloween spirit. Some rooms offer interactive experiences like the Pinata Rage Room, allowing students to let loose and have a blast. I'm Olivia Adderay. This is my first year living on L2, and this is my first l in and we're doing a pinata rage room, so I'm super excited for tonight. Hi, I'm Rebecca. This is my third year on L2N, and I'm Thursday. So just stay on that screen, and they'll switch to the current conditions today, and just watch for what you see on the screen. Okay, so I can't look at the parlor prompter anymore? Probably. Just like what's on the screen, also, the prog chart, can you just put that one down, though? Uh, yeah, it should be there. Okay, just put that one in down. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we're looking at our full forecast. Well, our current condition is 52 still, and the humidity is still 83%, and the winds are coming 12 miles per hour now. We're looking today. Today is a high of 61 and an 80% chance of rain. And, a he and the winds are going 60 miles per hour and a low will be 41. For, for Friday, we're gonna be a high of 65 and a low of 41. And it's still gonna be sunny but partly cloudy too. And now for our uh, for Thursday and Friday and Saturday, we're looking over here is 61 with a little bit of chance of rain. And Friday will be, um, pardon, 
not rain, um, rain. But Friday, we're gonna see 65 um, with uh, sunny as well. And on Saturday, we're gonna still see a 66 high and a little bit of patchy rain coming over here on Saturday. Now for the satellite, it seems to have cloudy around here for Missouri as well. So it's gonna be cloudy. Now for the Doppler radar. Doppler radar, we see right here that right now it's going to the northeast all the way over there, continue to go to the northeast with a little bit, with a lot of precipitation and winds. But you heard about the thunderstorms last night, so it's continued to go there. So now for the next, yes. And so back to you guys. Oh, wait. I was waiting for this one. I didn't know if it was this one. Man, oh, are you kidding me? We're starting it again, huh? That was my bad. Okay. Yeah. Remember the radar is in the middle. Okay. So you just go back. So I was. Step out of the shot. Okay. You won't follow her. Step out of the shot completely. Get to the other TV, please. Left. Yep. Now you step out of your shot. Okay. Not yet, not yet. Oh, man. Uh, you guys are so nice being patient with me, honestly. And now for Missouri's low pressure system is our floating around the cold front coming in the northeast and temperatures may drop in the coming weeks to the northeast low pressure system and are bringing rain on stable weather, which could eventually influence the conditions of Missouri. And there's also a bit of rain in the southwest with those low pressure systems. And now for extended forecast, we see the low of 60s, honestly, and we see heavy rains coming on Thursday to Tuesday. But on Friday, we'll have sunny. And on Wednesday, we'll still have a patchy rain nearby, too. And now for the extended forecast. It's still, is it, what do I do? OK, now for the for extended forecast. I'm honestly so confused right now. Are we still looking into this one? Just cut it. This is the final slot. This is the this final is slot? The final slot. Okay. okay. Every week is the final slot. Okay. When you see all those days, there's nothing more to say. Okay. Because it's everything. Okay. So. This is the you're, middle. You're, you're rounding up. Looks like we have most days in the 60s. Lows get down into the 40s. There's a couple days where we're not getting any rain. Okay. Anyway, it is fall. Okay. Back to you guys. Okay. So this is in the middle? Okay. Yeah. Man, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. Okay. Three, two, one, Okay. Now for our national forecast, we see right here it's going to be with over Missouri of a low pressure system are floating around the cold front coming in the northeast. Temperatures may drop in the coming weeks to northwest low pressure system and are bringing rain on stable weather, which could eventually influence conditions in Missouri. And there are also a bit of rain in the southeast and those low pressure systems. Now for extended forecast, we see our lows of 61 and we see a bit of rain on Thursday to Tuesday and Wednesday. But on Friday, we're going to still see sunny. So that's going to be for our fall. Um, so uh, fall will be awesome. So back to you guys. Honestly, you just smack me so much. Smack me. Oh my goodness, what did I say? Mm. The camera light is red. I'm on. I'm happy. And people are watching me. OK. Never crash. Okay. Never crash. You can't go, oh. You have to be happy. Okay. It's okay. You're alive. Okay. You can't crash. Okay. No crashing. 
there's an audience sitting there watching you. You can't crash. Okay. You can't pout. You can't turn them away. You've got to be on all the time. On the, this okay. This is a performance. Okay. So somewhere in there you said back to you guys, and then you started, you kept talking. Okay. That's the last thing you had said. Okay. I think we can cut from there. Okay. And hopefully Garrett will be mindful of that. Okay. But never flunk, never turn your head down while the cameras have the red light on. Okay. I don't know if you can see it very well, but they have that. Is it the glowing thing right there? Yep. Oh, okay. I, I think it'll be better. Okay. You really need to come in and practice with this. Okay. And that requires maybe coming in with Mr. Burn Ash, helping out, and maybe a work study. Okay. But we can't read, we can't read teleprompter. Okay. It, it's like it takes it completely out. You can tell them we're done. Okay. Yeah. We're okay. All done. We're so this is this is not complicated. It's a lot of stuff. All it is is the week until next Wednesday. So excited for just all the people to come tonight. The event brought together students from across campus making Elbu Inn a memorable Halloween tradition once again. The Evangel Music Department held a special event in the honor of classic hymns and music with a story written by Josiah Mann. Last night, the Heritage of Hymns concert at Evangel University Spence Chapel offered a night of worship and artistic celebration. Themed gathered as one, the event featured a 60-voice community choir directed by Dr. Nathan Cornelius and a full orchestra led by Dr. Larry Dismore. Attendees were treated to a powerful blend of music and dance with Ballet Excelsior from Houston adding a unique visual element to the evening. Tonight's a wonderful opportunity to come together, celebrate the hour of music, and enjoy the vibrant atmosphere of our community. I feel like that was one of the best uh, Heritage of Hymns performances we've had. It was, it was inspiring. Uh, a couple of pieces really brought the audience and the singers and the orchestra all to life. It was great. Having a great time tonight. It was crazy. I was intimidated at first. I was yet in the rehearsals and it was like, that's a lot of people and they're all the professionals and stuff, but it was so wonderful with all of the connection between the ballerinas and the band and the organ and the bells and the choir, I think like some that ties into the theme of community and also the sets that they represented. So I think people are like, In addition to the performances, an art exhibition showcased local talent and a silent auction raised funds to support future community events. The art display and auction added a deeper dimension to the concert's theme, creating a memorable evening for all who attended. For more highlights and upcoming events, visit the Messiah Project's website. A group of six Evangel Communication students and three faculty traveled to Vienna, Austria to present research projects at the 17th International Conference on the Inclusive Museum. The event was held on September 13th through 15th at the Museum's Courier, and the students also happened to be the only undergraduate level representatives at the conference. Students presented papers and led workshops at the event and were also able to explore a few cultural landmarks on their trip to the Czech Republic, Austria, and Germany. The trip was sponsored by Evangel's Forensics Program and funded in part by the Richard G. Nitkav Endowment Fund, marking the 12th international forensics trip for Evangel students. We have some stories about airlines coming up. Well, we'll hear more about that after this break. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day, I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. I want to eat. Apples and bananas. 
I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Thank you. Thank you. Leaving hot coals improperly extinguished can cause a wildfire. Hey guys, it's smoking. It looks as if smoking is going to use the drown, stir, drown, and feel technique. After the first drown, a good start. Next, another drink. And finally, a close feel. Is it cool? cool. Okay. Yeah. Hey, smoking. Catch. Oh. My bad, Smokey. Only you can prevent wildfires. We might all be familiar with that annoying feeling of a flight getting canceled, but thanks to some new federal rules, that may not be as bad as it used to be. Starting this week, airlines will require to refund the cost of your ticket if your flight has been delayed three hours on domestic flights, six hours on international flights, or if your plans end up changing. There's also a requirement that refunds must be issued within seven business days if tickets were bought via credit card. However, there are limits. If your flight's delayed and you still manage to get on a plane, don't go expecting a refund. Vangelo has so many opportunities to get plugged in with people here on campus. Here's Clara with one of our small group leaders. Groups are a good way for students to get connected here at Evangel. I'm here with Mike Rogers, a small group leader here in Scott Hall. So, Mike Rogers, how do you feel about just telling us a little bit how you got plugged in, how you wanted to be a small group leader, a little bit about yourself coming here to Evangel? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think initially, like, I had, it's kind of ironic, I had, like, no interest in being a small group leader. Um, it was, like, going into my, the beginning of my sophomore year. And um, it was really, like, uh, one of the, he was the, oh my gosh, the DA at the time uh, in Scott Hall that really encouraged me to pursue being a, um, it was called a DL back then, but now it's in the small group leader, obviously. Um, and yeah, like he really just kept like hounding me on it for about like two weeks. Like, Mike, you should do this. Like, I really feel like God is calling you to do this. Um, and eventually I was like, you know what? Like, I have enough time. It's like, what, like an hour a week. I can, I can do that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it ended up being like such a blessing. Um, it's, I think, such like an awesome way to like um, connect with the guys on my floor. But um, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So what exactly are small groups? What do they look like? Right. Yeah, how many people were there, maybe? Right, yeah. Um, so, small group, sometimes the title can be a little misleading, depending on how many guys yeah. actually show up to the group, right? Um, but in general, it's supposed to be this kind of, like, familial atmosphere. It's a um, small, comfortable, like, couch kind of setting. Um, and you just kind of gather to talk about uh, whatever Devo content has been prepared. So you're just discussing scripture with other people on your floor or in your hall. And, um, yeah, just, like, having good conversations that kind of point each other towards um, Christ. That's so. awesome. So I know you kind of touched on it a little bit, but if a student is wanting to get into a small group, what should they expect from your small group or just any small group here at Evangel? Yeah, I mean, um, they should expect, um, I don't know, just good conversations and encouraging um, relationships that um, you can build with people who are either in your hall or on your floor or even like not in your hall. I know that you can totally go to other people's halls, even though that's not like the first option you should be going towards. I think like it is an option. Yeah. So. I, that probably creates so much community with the guys on your hall, too. That's so awesome. Oh, a million percent, yeah. Yeah, what does it mean to you now doing it for however long? Uh, what do small groups mean to you? Yeah, um, it's been about, this is my second year doing it, and uh, okay. it means the world to me. I yeah. just love it so much. I think it's such an, opportun uh, an amazing opportunity to kind of connect with other guys on my floor and in my hall, um, and really, like, foster a sense of community that's not necessarily present in, like, other events you might do on your floor. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really awesome opportunity to kind of really tangibly see the guys grow throughout the year. So Yeah, that's super yeah. cool. Walk me through some recent content. Like, are you in any books? Are you, um, do you have anything specific that you guys have kind of been walking through? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, right now we're doing the Stand Firm Devo content, which is basically walking through Ephesians and going through like the armor of God and how that, cool. yeah, helps us um, 
stand firm against the devil. So yeah, it's been it's been really good. Recently, we did um, the breastplate of righteousness, kind of talking about like yeah. what is it to take on Christ's righteousness and how does that look like in our lives? So yeah, that's really wow, good. that's really awesome. Um, so what's your major? Does this have anything correlation, or is it just God called you to be here and you're stepping into obedience? What does that look like? Uh, yeah, no, I'm a biblical studies major, so cool. like it it does have some like linking to it, right? Yeah. Um, and like I do also like want to be a pastor at some point, so it's it's like a good like beginning like learning how to do that kind of thing um yeah, yeah it's a good experience that's incredible so um how would you go about encouraging others to get plugged in where can they know where to sign up what days is there options for different days what does that look like yeah a million percent so i know for me personally like in scott there's um i mean reach out to your ras they should know who the small group leaders are um but also like if in terms of like days i know for for me personally in scott there's like all the small groups meet on different days. So there's, yeah, there's options throughout the day. Like mine's on Tuesday um, and other people's are on like Wednesdays and Thursdays and stuff like that. So there should always be an open spot. Um, and then there's, in Scott, there's a bunch of posters everywhere for like what Devo content is led mm-hmm. by who and when it happens. So um, yeah, hopefully there's enough information that's posted, but yeah. your RAs and your RDs should know, so. That's awesome. Yeah. So if a student wanted to go to yours one day and then hit all of them the rest of the week, would that be technically allowed? Yeah, <laughs> no, a million percent. There's yeah. not like, oh, you can't go to that many people. Never too that's, much yeah, <laughs> exactly. content. That's exactly. awesome. Do you have any plans for upcoming content or just kind of riding out this Ephesians wave? For a yeah, bit? yeah, yeah. I'm going through the rest of the armor of God up until the end of the semester, and then yeah, we'll see what happens after that. We'll see that. what the Lord Tells you next. That's incredible. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking time to um, interview with us and sure. um, yeah, get plugged into small groups and we'll send it back to the desk with Garrett Molina. Thanks, Clara. So, Molina, is it going to be cool for the rest of the week? Looks like Springfield is finally setting it in that fall season, but we'll see more in our full fall, my full forecast. sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Now anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. 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 Did you know dragging chains can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. Chili's is thriving as customers flood to its affordable menu items, including the 10.99 Big Smasher Burger, a strong contender against McDonald's Big Mac. This burger has helped drive a 14% increase in same store sales and a six and a half rise in customer traffic. Additionally, the triple dipper platter, allowing diners to choose three dips, has captured the attention of younger guests, now accounting for 11% of sales, 
with a 70% increase over the past year. Chile's success reflects a strategic focus on and value of quality and competitive market. Man, Chili's, I love that place. Yeah, seems like some of their new plans are really working out for them. But let's see what we have for weather and Molina's full forecast. Okay, now we're looking at our full forecast. Well, our current condition is 52 still, and the humidity is still 83%, and the winds are coming 12 miles per hour. Now, we're looking today. Today is a high of 61 and an 80% chance of rain. And, a he and the winds are going 60 miles per hour, and a low will be 41. For, for Friday, we're gonna be a high of 65 and a low of 41. And it's still gonna be sunny, but partly cloudy too. And now for our uh, for Thursday and Friday and Saturday, we're looking over here is 61 with a little bit of chance of rain. And Friday will be, I'm um, pardon, not rain, um, rain. But Friday we're gonna see 65 um, with a sunny as well. And on Saturday we're gonna still see a 66 high and a little bit of patchy rain coming over here on Saturday. Now for the satellite, it seems to have cloudy around here for Missouri as well. So it's gonna be cloudy. Now for the Doppler radar. Doppler radar, we see right here that right now it's going to the northeast all the way over there, continue to go to the northeast with a little bit, with a lot of precipitation and winds. But you heard about the thunderstorms last night, so it's continuing to go there. Okay, now for our national forecast, we see right here it's gonna be with over Missouri of a low pressure system are floating around the cold front coming in the northeast. Temperatures may drop in the coming weeks to northwest low pressure systems and are bringing rain on stable weather, which could eventually influence conditions in Missouri and there also a bit of rain in the southeast and those low pressure systems. Now for our extended forecast, we see our lows of 61 and we see a bit of rain on Thursday to Tuesday and Wednesday. But on Friday, we're gonna still see sunny. So that's gonna be for our fall. Back to you guys. Just around the corner, Nicholas Brownlee will be here to give us the latest in sports. And if you're wanting to lower your risk of dementia, more when we return. into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Just as effective as regular exercise when it comes to lowering the risk of dementia. Researchers in Europe and Latin America investigated the health of 10,000 people from Mexico. They're all asked a series of questions and screened with a tool to detect dementia. The researchers found that those who regularly exercise were 12% less likely to develop the condition, meaning your hard weekend workouts where you put in a lot of effort could actually be more beneficial. This new research goes to show just how important it is for us to take care of the health of our hearts. True. And next up, Nick has the latest news on sports. Thanks, Clara. Last Saturday, EU Valor senior Nate Swafford pulls off one of the greatest comebacks in history, leading the team to their seventh win of the season. 
AU Valor also had incredible football players that helped the team score field goals and touchdowns and cover more yards than any NFL player has covered. But Nate is the MVP because of the outstanding interception that turned the game to our favor. Continuing your basketball career is one thing, but going aggressive on the opposing team and piling on pain is something else. Lonzo Ball is a perfect example of this, given the grade one and one half sprain he received from trying to steal Jake LaRavia's pass. Fortunately, all it took to ease the pain was some tape. And even though the Bulls won that day, I would call it a Pyrrhic victory. I am super excited to report the Chiefs 7-0 record this football season and their victory against the Las Vegas Raiders last Sunday. However, there is one football player that stands out, Travis Kelsey. He may be a tight end, but he is the same tight end who had 10 catches and a touchdown during that game. This is his best moment in NFL history, and I cannot wait for what comes next. Back to you guys at the desk. There's been a lot going on in sports these days. That's true, and trick-or-treating is something everybody looks forward to in October. More about that when we come back. I don't remember how it started. Not today. Oh Our back and forth. It always came back. Nice Dad! You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. For the first time in more than 85 years, Des Moines has made to break tradition and reschedule its Beggar's Night. Beggar's Night, the area's unique take on Halloween trick-or-treating, is typically held on October 30th to avoid the violent behavior that once marred Halloween in the 1930s. This year, however, severe storms threaten safety, prompting officials to push the, e the event to Halloween. Instead of the jokes and candy on the 30th, kids will be out on Halloween night with cool, dry weather forecasted for a safe evening of trick-or-treating. Well, at least people are staying safe, but it is too bad they did have to push tradition back. I don't know. They finally get to experience Halloween for the first time since 1930s. Well, let's take a look at our weather, see what next week might be like with Melina's final forecast. Take it away, Melina. So next, so thanks, <laughs> so honestly, we see for our extended forecast is still going to be the same. It's still going to be some mostly sunny skies most days with the cloud and very slightly chance of rain later in the week. Um, but cross our fingers if it's going to be more fall weather. I'm back to you guys. Thanks, Melina. That's all for us today. Check out euvalormedia.com for more Evangel news. I'm Garrett Coger. And I'm Claire Butler. This has been News Watch Today. Please join us next week. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check nhtsa.gov slash the right.